done, it's warmed up, so I am back outside and I'm going to be talking today about two self-help books written by black authors that you have to check out before Black History Month ends, but even if you don't, you need to check it out, okay? Come back, I'm going to tell you all about these books. All right, so I'm back. You most likely have heard about both of these books, especially this one. It's called Set Boundaries, Find Peace. Now this one is by Nidra Glover to Webb. It's an amazing book about setting boundaries. The other one we're gonna be talking about is called It's About Time, The Art of Choosing by Valerie Burton. And this one is about time management and how do you figure out what is most important to you at the time. So as a business owner, boundaries are really important. One thing that people love to say is that, you know, one thing that people love to say that I do not subscribe to is that number one, you are a business owner 24-7, right? Your business runs 24-7 and basically that all money is good money. Do not agree with either of those things because let's be honest here, sometimes human beings can be very annoying people. I love them, I think they're brilliant, but I think a lot of times people ask a lot more of small businesses than they should. And as a result, this book comes in handy because you have to set boundaries. You have to let people know what does and what does not work for you. Um, and that's what this book talked about. Once you start, I believe, setting boundaries for yourself and defining what success means to you, you'll start seeing a lot more success and you'll start seeing a lot more respect from others because you're respecting your own time. So she really talks about being honest with yourself about what your boundaries are. Your boundaries are not going to be the same as everyone else's, but they're still important in your business. You do not have to answer people at midnight. You do not have to take checks for your services if you do not want to. You do not have to take credit cards if you don't want to. You don't have to take IOUs. You can do truly whatever you like. And I feel that's what I took out of this book the importance of setting boundaries and I related it back to business and you can also relate it to dance right so a lot of times when we go to dance classes as an adult kind of still have that inner child in us where we're trying to do everything that the teacher is saying if there is something that is being told to you that you do not like something that doesn't resonate with you and you set that boundary and you walk out or you set that boundary and you don't do it right you don't want to injure yourself um, if there's a an article of clothing that you don't feel like wearing, you don't have to wear it because you're an adult. So you set that boundary for yourself. I, that's what I got from this book. So just relating it to life and everything. We don't talk a lot about nonfiction here. So that's why I wanted to bring these books in today. Okay, so number one, set boundaries, find peace. Check it out. Wonderful book. And I discussed it with my book club a little while ago. Um, it's pretty heavy though. It's quite a heavy topic. Not very easy to discuss, but very important nonetheless. And this book, it's about time, talking about, I don't know why my bookmark is still in there, um, talking about, <laughs> it's supposed to have been an important part, it's talking about urgency and how you decide what's most important. So this is all about time management. A lot of times, we have so many things that we're doing, so many things that we have to take care of. We have to decide what is most important. Am I doing this to support or be there for someone else? Or am I doing this for myself? What's the most important thing right now? For example, if you have a really big exam coming up, but you also have someone that really needs you to help them move, you have to decide for yourself. Set that boundary <laughs> and define for yourself, decide for yourself. Am I going to take some time to do this? Or am I going to keep studying for my exam? What is best for me right now? And it helps to relieve a lot of stress. And it takes me back to our book from to last month where we talked about finding rest, right? It's difficult to find rest if you aren't prioritizing what's, what is most important in your life, which should be your health, taking time for yourself, for your family, and just making sure that you have time to completely do those self-care items that you find most important. So something that stood out to me in this book was here, what was the point of being my own boss if my schedule didn't meet my needs and those of my family? So my first experiment was to create a normal, normal, a new normal for my work schedule, one that gave me the breathing room I needed. So she talks about creating her own schedule, right? So she is her own boss, she has her own business, but she found herself working so much, it was pretty much the same as being at a nine to five. What's the point of that? She found out that there wasn't a point to it. So that's why she decided to set 
boundary for herself to set up her own schedule and stick to that schedule. So she'd still have time to take her children to their little ballet recitals, and football practice and all that type of stuff and still have time for her hubby, for herself and all of those things. Still have a wonderful, productive and well-balanced life. So highly recommend both of these books. We don't talk a lot about nonfiction on this channel and I find that a lot of books regarding self-help normally do not feature black authors so I really wanted to bring these in today especially since it's Black History Month although this channel is all about black book black books and black authors year-round I really wanted to highlight these today okay so that is it let me know of any books that you're reading out there and I hope that you are considering coming to the epic book chat you can join us from anywhere in the world because it's a hybrid event at this point join us online and if you're here in Phoenix Arizona I highly recommend that you come on down to the studio and join us. We'll be in the South Phoenix area eating some food, discussing the book Seven Days in June. I am loving that book right now. I'll be back talking about it again soon, but I don't want to give any spoilers, so you're just going to have to come and read the book. Come read the book. Come to the event and talk to us about the book at some point, okay? So see you all later. Do something that brings you joy. Bye!